Videos like this one poured into the KGW newsroom over the weekend. Street racers taking over the Burnside Bridge and several other streets across the Rose City. I thought it was a bomb first, maybe a car bomb or something, a couple of times. Ron Wessner lives in the Lloyd District. A street takeover outside his building kept him awake Sunday night. It's sad. I mean, it's sad for Portland. Um, you know, I'm lucky that I live in, a, in the castle, as it were, you know, so I'm, I'm protected way up high. But I just feel sad for the city and for Lloyd Center neighborhood. People were just doing donuts right here in this big area right here, and they just take up the whole area. Tarek Hood's girlfriend has lived in the Lloyd District for about a year. He says he's seen street takeovers a handful of times. I'm sure it bothers a whole lot of other people and whoever has to come out here and clean this up. I'm definitely sure it's a nuisance to a lot of people. For instance, this man, a Multnomah County worker tasked with sweeping up debris from the illegal activity on the Burnside Bridge. It's a big safety concern for people. Uh, during these events, people are struck by vehicles, vehicles crash, uh, pedestrians are injured. So we want to make sure we're doing everything we can from an enforcement standpoint to address it. Portland Police Chief Chuck LaBelle says enforcement entails street racing missions. The chief tagged along as officers conducted missions Sunday night. We were out from about 6 p.m. and I was there to 1.30 and we were out uh, just interrupting street racing events. We're told officers towed more than a half dozen cars and either arrested or cited more than a half dozen people. Officers even managed to seize a gun during the mission. All the more reason Ron Wessner is hoping police can get a handle on what's become a far too common occurrence in Portland. You know, the city has a cancer. It, it has metastasized and it needs to be addressed, addressed as a cancer.